morning grade 10. I only have two students here. The rest are absent. We have Reina and Demetri. So your attendance is already recorded. The rest are absent. So you cannot actually blame me if in case because I had some evidences of your online classes and of course your attendance. Right. As per an update with regards to your exam, that will be happening this March 17, 18, and 19. Okay. March 17, 18, 19, that's, that is actually next week. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, talking about the outputs that I'm actually talking about, telling you a while ago. Okay. Um, for the school year, if you're going to check on the previous quarter, I didn't ask for anything. I didn't ask for an output. But then again, for this quarter, fourth quarter, I might give you, okay, or ask from you an output. This would be the our output for this school year, right? So hopefully, um, last school year, we, we did logging. But this school year, I don't know. Let me think about it. That will be under your performance task. At the same time, this is the output for this school year, right? Just to give you a heads up with regards to um, your project. This could be your project. And of course, under performance tasks. So this is 40% of your grade, okay? Let's move now to speciation, okay? Speciation is a... The, is the evolutionary process. You see, evolutionary process in which new species arise, this is an evolution. Meaning to say, it is a process by which another species might arise or another species um, becomes put into action. Like, for example, um, before, there is no shipu. Okay? Shitsu and pudol. That's actually a mixed breed before. But then again, it is now under speciation. It is another species. What else? Um, Chowski, Chow Chow and Husky. That is another speciation. So it is actually an evolutionary process by which another species arise or might arise. It is the process wherein a group of one species will acquire new characteristic, just like um the one that I'm telling you a while ago, Chowski. It has a different characteristic. It looks it, it actually have a, a, a build of a chow chow and a, a face of a husky, for example, just like that one, okay? Or a, a, a shipu. You know shipu already, right? Some of you actually have shipu, shitsu and poodle. So there are a lot of category or, or um, variety of shipu. There are some princess type, which has long hair and, and so on. So these are, again, a product of speciation. A new species arrives from a previous species, of course, and eventually make an entire new species. Each time speciation occurs, well, biological biodiversity increases because, again, there is some variety that actually comes out from that particular, what, particular biome or particular environment, okay? Taxonomy. It is a branch of biology concerned with naming and classifying the diverse forms of life. Okay. Carolus Linnaeus, okay, the father of taxonomy, introduced a bi binomial system of naming organisms, the Linnaean classification, which is still used until now at the present. So this is now naming the organism. Sure. How can we name an organism? There are a lot of categories in naming organisms. One of these are their nutrition. Is nutrition means that the way they actually gather their food, are they producers? Are they um, consumers? Okay. Are they herbivore? Are they and so on? So those are few. What else? They are actually class according to their habitat. Is it marine life? Or is it in the land? Or how do they live? What are What is their environment? So those are few. Okay? 
The two-word name given by an organism, also known as scientific name, consists of genus and species, where an organism belongs. Biological species concept, it views species as a population or population or a group of populations where members have ability and potential to interbreed and produce fertile offspring. So this is the biological concept. Again, the, the, the purpose when we have the biological, biological species concept is to have a biodiverse, okay, biodiverse species. Okay? We, we will have a variety of species because they interbreed. Morphological species concept. This is how scientists are able to identify more than 1.8 million species. Scientists make use of measurable phenotypic rates. However, this method largely relies on subjective analysis and the researchers may not always agree on the structural features and should not be used to distinguish a species. If it is just in morphology, okay, morphology meaning to say the appearance, we cannot actually um, uh, we cannot actually classify them just, just because they appeared more or less the same. No. According to Linnaeus, in the classification of organism, we can classify organism, again, not just in their physical appearance, but, the, but of course, the way they actually, what? The way they actually live. Like, for example, we cannot classify a, a an algae as a plant. Sure, why? Okay, based on morphology, algae can actually perform photosynthesis. Plant can also do perform photosynthesis. They look like plant. Okay, but they're not. Why, sure? Because there are, there are some characteristics of algae that are not actually under plantae or kingdom plantae, okay? So those are just few, right? Morph morphology, on the other hand, we can actually classify, we, we can check on the, the, the morphological characteristic of an organism and put it in, 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 in a, shall we say, a group. But then again, we need also to consider the other features, okay? The other characteristic of that particular species or organism. Okay, ecological species concept. This identifies species based on the ecological environment or need or the habitat. Okay, like for example, they are living in a rainforest. Okay, we can identify species on what are the species living in the in that rainforest. For example, so this is under eco ecological species. Why? Why, sir? Why do we need to classify ecological species based on their niche or, or in their environment? Simply because they're interacting. If you remove one of them in, in the food chain, then it says there will, be, there will be some changes in that particular niche. So we need to know what are these species in order for us to preserve. That's the concept of ecological species. Polygenic species. This identifies organism and species based on unique genetic history. So we are now down to the genetic history of that particular species. Biologists compare species, genetic code, and physical characteristic with other organisms. So this is polygenic. We are actually talking about um, a big circle. We are talking about the, the, entire, the entire pie. Okay, We're talking about the entire genes. Okay. And of course, classify them according to their unique genetic history. Okay, we are done with um, module two for third quarter, okay, weeks five to eight, right? And as promised, I will give examples with regards to how can we. Let's go back to. Synthesis, routine synthesis. Okay. Remember the coding, okay? We're talking about RNA, okay? And hold on. We're talking about RNA. How can we decode the information from the RNA 
And where does this code came from? And how can we actually create another strand from the DNA? Okay. So we are now in encoding and decoding. Right? I will give you examples with regards to the codons. Okay. Hold on. Good morning, Margie. Again, everybody, please turn on your camera. Camera on, everyone. Let's have this example. I'll give you an example. Okay. Because I'll be using this one in your major exam also. Okay. When you are asked to supply a complementary strand from the following DNA template, you're actually given a template. Okay. Like, for example, in this case, okay, let me have, let me use the whiteboard. Okay, for this case, can you see my whiteboard now? Everybody? Yes. Okay. Yes. Like for this example. We will not just we will not consider the start and the end codon here, right? Just the complementary strand. So we have T, T. Let's have this one. T, T, A. Usually codons are after a set of three. Okay. A, C, G. G, G, C. G, C. G, C, G. A, T, T. Okay. If you're asked for the complementary strand of a part of a template. So this is a template, correct? This is actually um, the, the, the complementary strand of a particular DNA. This is a template. Okay. And you're asked to what? To supply a complementary strand. How can you supply? Okay. Again, adenine is always paired with thymine. So because this is thymine. The complementary strand here is adenine, adenine, thymine. Again, adenine is always paired with thymine, and thymine is always paired with adenine. So correct? Okay, next, we have adenine is to thymine, cytosin is to guanine, correct? And guanine is to cytosin, correct? Correct? Are you still with me? Can you hear me? Can you see my whiteboard here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guanine, guanine, cytosine. So guanine is always paired with cytosine. So the complementary strand here is cytosine, cytosine, and guanine. Correct? How about this codon? We have guanine, cytosine, Cytosin. Okay. Guanine, cytosin, cytosin. We have 
cytosine, guanine, guanine. Correct? How about ATT? Adenine, thymine, thymine. We have thymine, adenine, adenine. So this is now the complementary strand of that particular DNA template. So this is correct. How about if the question is asking about the mRNA? How can you solve this problem? If the question is asking about mRNA, mRNA is transcribed from a pair, okay? Or nitrogenous base, mRNA. So let's take a look at this example again. Let's write it down. T T A. A C G okay G G C G C C A T T. So this is uh, this is actually one of the example. You the, the question there is asking about mRNA strand. Okay, when you're talking about mRNA, okay, in RNA. Okay, in RNA, I mean T is changed. I mean will be changed into U. Okay. U means U Russell. Okay, so in this case, A is always paired with adenine, correct? T is always paired with adenine, but in A, supposed to be this is T here, correct? But because we are in the RNA, we are transcribing it from the RNA, okay? From mRNA, we need to change thymine into uracil. So this is AAU. We change thymine into uracil. So uracil, okay, guanine, cytosine, okay, cytosine, cytosine, guanine, cytosine, guanine, guanine, okay. And of course, uracil, adenine, adenine. Okay, so this is now your transcribe. Okay, this is now your transcribe mRNA. Okay, from the nitrogenous base pair or nitrogenous um, bases. So again, the difference between transcribing um, mRNA or RNA from the transcribing the DNA or from the basis of the DNA is that DNA is as is, okay? If you're, you're looking at the complementary strand of a DNA template, it's, it is as is. Adenine is always paired with thymine and thymine is always paired with adenine. And Cytosine is always paired with guanine, and guanine is always paired with cytosine. But in mRNA, if the question there is asking about um, transcribing from the mRNA or looking at the mRNA, thymine will be changed into uracil. Simple concept. Okay. Why? Because you are now carrying that genetic code. You're now carrying the information of a particular what? particular protein, okay? Remember the protein, this one? Let me share it again. You're carrying a particular information for a particular protein. That is the reason behind, okay? Remember this one? Yeah, let me have the, okay? So it is actually with uracil. Take a look at this one. Okay. 
Uracel. It has with Uracel. Why? Because again, these are sets. Okay? These are sets of protein, which is actually transcribed from the actual DNA. Okay? That's the reason behind. Do you have any questions so far? No. Again, points to remember, if you are asked to, to get a complementary strand out, at, out from a DNA template, adenine is always paired with thymine. And cytosin is always paired with guanine. Vice versa. Thymine is always paired with adenine. And guanine is always paired with cytosine. Okay? But if the question there is asking about transcribing from the mRNA, okay? Or asking for an mRNA strand from the base, okay? From the nitrogenous base or bases. So again, instead of adenine being paired with thymine, it is another way around, okay? Adenine is always paired with uracil, and uracil is always paired with adenine. And the rest are default. Cytosin is always paired with guanine, and guanine is always paired with cytosin. The same. Do you have any questions so far? Question, question? So that we can move forward. Again, um, those who just came in, we had just discussed about your previous, your, your, your um, upcoming project, okay? If you're going to look at your, your previous quarters, I didn't actually ask for anything. I didn't ask for a project because I understand uh, the current situation. But then again, we need to have a, an output. Last school year, um, my class, we, we did a blog. I think you actually saw those blogs because we uploaded it in via Facebook about our lesson. But I am still thinking about it. What would be our output? I am open to suggestion also. If you if you want, if what whatever you want, just let me know. I will think about it if it is feasible. Okay. Let's have an output for this school year. That will be under your performance task. At the same time, this could be um your project. See? It is your project, number one. It is under your performance task, number two. And number three, it is the output of this school year. So that is my concern. Right? I am open to suggestion. Okay? Just let me know. What can you suggest for an output for this school year? We need to have an output simply because um, this can actually... Um, this will, will remain in the school, okay? In short, this is your cabillion in the school, right? All right, what I want you to do now, we still have time. It's 9.52 in my clock, we still have time, right? What I want you to do now, let me share my screen, is I want you to go to your LMS and answer activity number two, conceptualization. These are concepts, okay? Uh -huh. This will actually close this afternoon at five. I'm expecting answers from you until the end of this afternoon. These are just few, the outline of the protein synthesis. We just discussed this one. The start codon, types of RNA. These are just basic, right? These are concepts that needs to be conceptualized, okay? Again, I will be waiting for your answers until the end of the day that's around 5 p.m. Do you have any questions so far? Question, question, before we go. Still have nine minutes. Questions? Reactions? Again, I'm open to suggestions with regards to your project, right? Reina, Demetri, Margie, and Holly, just let me know. Okay? All right. I think I'll go for today, class. Again, I'm expecting answers from you until the end of the day at 5 p.m. Thank you very much, grade 10. Have a nice everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Mm -hmm.